So today I'm going to be telling you how game mode is on the Sony X90J. And I'm going to start off in Batman Arkham Knight to get things going on here. And you guys can see we are in game mode. Essentially, it's like this, guys. It's just jittery and it's just blah. There's not really a whole lot to say outside of that. This isn't the most responsive I've ever seen. I'd be surprised if it's anything higher than 20 milliseconds or rather lower than 20 milliseconds because it just doesn't feel that snappy and responsive. And above all, it's jittery and juttery. Look at all that. Look, I know you see that as I'm panning. It, it's literally like the whole game itself is one big lag fest. This is Sony's motion. This is why I game outside of game mode and I enable motion processing because this is ugly. Now, there are some people that call this natural motion. They call this natural judder. They say that you should allow this. This looks good. This is nice. This is what you want in your games. And to those people, I'll just say it like this. There is no such thing as natural judder. When you watch a car move by or a bird fly past you in real life, it's smooth and fluid. And while, yes, introducing soap opera effects, sometimes the image can break apart because you're putting more frames there that don't exist, it is a lot closer to that real world representation than if you were to just sit here with this laggy, smeary, juttery mess. I mean, you could literally justify it every which way from Sunday, but this is not a smooth picture. So now we're gonna grab the remote. I have to do this handheld, so for those who can't stand when they don't see a tripod, well, oh well, tough, because we have to do it this way, okay? So we're gonna grab our remote, and we're going to open up our picture setting where you can see that we are in game mode. Now just to add a kind of extra layer of being a bit dramatic here. I'm going to show you guys as we go down, 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 down. We're gonna go into motion and you guys can see that motion flow is off while we are in that game mode. I have to do this because this is apparently very important to some people to know, just with no picture processing and everything, how is the performance? So what I'll do, I'm going to put my input lag tester up and I'm going to put it up here and we're gonna let it run, but I'm telling you right now, it was not responsive at all. It's about 35 milliseconds of input lag. As you guys can see, I'll try to back up a little bit more. Yeah, not a responsive TV, and I don't honestly know how gamers could be happy with this because this is really low. And I feel like this was done on purpose to make you buy something like the A90J or maybe one of Sony's more expensive TVs by introducing more milliseconds of input lag. It's a BS move considering TVs like the Hisense H9G have 14 milliseconds of input lag. And honestly speaking, this is really disappointing. Now outside of game mode, again, grab the remote, open up picture settings, show you guys, we're gonna go into, what do, you, what do you say? Let's just do standard, right? Okay, so in standard, we're going to go then into our picture mode. I don't know if you can see that, there's a lot of clouding right there in the corner. You know, maybe is it because we're standing up at it? No, you guys can clearly see it still hazing in the corner there. That's just, it shows up in normal content. So uh, for anybody trying to say, hey, you know, of course it won't look ideal if you take an angle to it. Yeah, stop. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that try to say stuff like that. So just please stop. All right, but anyway, we're gonna open up, uh, oh, I have to do this now that I've said that. There's gonna be people that are gonna be like, show us your settings. Maybe you disabled local dimming. It's on default, dude. It's on the, the way it came from the factory, which is medium. If you turn it to high, you're still gonna see it as you see it right there. And again, I'll show you, I'm gonna get down and you still see that clouding right there. So even turning local dimming to high, or rather peak luminance to high, let's try local dimming to high. And there you go, you still see it. I've already done this test, so I already know it was still gonna be there. So again, there's like no outcome where it's not gonna be bad, right? And we can turn peak luminance to medium, but again, it's still there. So as you see, peak luminous medium, still there. So I just, you know, when I make claims like that, people get really finicky when I don't show like the local dimming and, and show like it being on high and stuff like that. So yeah, it's not a rock star with black levels as you are clearly seeing, especially once you in introduce like more complex geometry. That's just not what this thing is going to do. Now I'm gonna also show you guys the motion outside of game mode. And here you see we're in custom, what do you say? We're in custom, I'll max it out. Mm, should I max it out? Yeah, why not? We wanna see it with processing. So that's the idea, see how bad it gets. Uh, I've already run this test. Last time I ran this test, it was pretty damn high. I, I'm pretty sure you can imagine considering, you know, the other number we got. So 
yeah, we're at 164, 146 now. Uh, it was at 152, that's where it sat for me last time I ran this test. So yeah, 152 is where it is now. And that's basically where it sits, 152.6.8. But yeah, that's pretty much the input lag.